So with a uh, somewhat empty looking workbench and quite a few projects in the bag and finished, it's maybe time to have a look at something something new. Um, as I sit here, I'm surrounded by new tool modern kits with uh, cartograph decals and optional parts sky panel lines all that sort of good stuff um so shall we do something like that nah not on this channel buster get a load of this so the story behind this is i bought this from a market stall sometime 2004 2003 not 100 sure never heard of this company before zongdi fu it's a mig 25 it's a plane i'd always wanted to build since i read the autobiography of victor belenko who defected in one of these to the west in 1976 right and so i bought this yeah 04 03 04 sometime around then maybe possibly five ten i just don't know years later <coughs> excuse me i did start building it and i was disappointed to say the least first thing red 31 this is Victor Milenko's aircraft. Fantastic. So when you open the, the box, you are greeted with Yeah. Obviously this is this is how far I got. Got vastly disappointed with it because it seemed to me I was going to have a a MiG twenty vaguely MiG twenty five shaped lump of filler. And the other disappointment, as I say, Red Thirty One Victor Blanco's aircraft. The the this seems to be a reboxing of the Hasegawa kit. That kit comes with Red Thirty One. And red seven, and the the deco set for this is only red seven. Lovely. So I've tossed it over. I'm either going to make masks and spray thirty one on there, or I've have a look through the deco bank and see if I have got some Russian uh, numbers. I'm kind of feeling I have. Don't know exactly what, but anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I sort of just kind of yeah, just gave up, just stuck it back in the box, and uh, as you can see, this is this is probably about ten years old at this point. So I, uh, I think the filler might have just dried out. Not a lot of exterior detail, but I don't know how much we got. They're possibly scribed. It's hard, very hard to tell. They're very faint as well. I'm probably going to be looking at rescribing this. The main issue I've got with this, as it stands, is that you can possibly see that the the intakes just don't don't line up in any way, shape, or form. So that's uh, I'm just trying to get at least one of those off. And make the one match it. Probably that one is kind of out further that way. So I'll probably try and get that one clear and off. Get that back. Just try to match that tidy something up with these intakes. I mean, there's nothing you can't really tell, but there's, there's nothing in there. You've got parts that don't fit right, sanding will be your friend, sanding will be your friend, filler will also be your friend, which as you can see on there, but 
Once I get this fuselage looking something semi decent, and because of how simple this kit seems to be, it's just a case of weighing on the wings, tail, engine nozzles, and start chucking paint at it. Fortunately, the canopy still exists. Which is, to be very fair, there's no there's no detail really on it. I can see it is the, seems to be the right shape, and it actually does fit. So that's nice. But I'm gonna put that right up there out of the way. So let's get to it. So I've got the misaligned, well, I don't know if it's misaligned, it's just this kit, it could be anything in takeoff. And it seems that in the past I've been, focus your thing, I've been shimming it, I've shimmed it there, yeah, I don't do it like that, it just don't work does it, I've been shimmed there. We were shim now. I've actually just 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 popped it off. This is yeah. Uh, well, build up if you could say this is the inside of the intake. Or is it? Yes. <laughs> we are going to have such fun. So I'm going to try and. Uh, Buff tap, put it, put that, put that back together as it should go, like that, I believe. Give it a better, better coat of paint inside because I keep doing that. Then to give it a better coat of paint inside because that's a bit of a mess. And um, yeah, I'll uh, let you let you have a look when I've done all that. Okay, it's a couple of days later from the first part of this and as you can see I've got the I didn't take it off got it back it's somewhat somewhat leveled out not perfect enough I'm honest but there we are that's uh, what we've got to work with unless if I tip it upside down you can see the sort of gappage I've been dealing with I've done a bit of rescribe I've rescribed all the wings it's extremely hard to tell but if you look I've done some you can see some scribing on the fuselage if you want to get it to focus some rubbing down to get this somewhat similar to the shape of the fuselage of the plane that's behind it but that's going to take more filling and rubbing down and more filling and rubbing down anywho as regards to that that is going to be the world's most boring video filling rubbing down scraping rubbing down scraping so the plan for this as it stands now is i'm going to get it all filled scribed you name it so it kind of sort of looks like a MiG-25 which um, if I'm honest it kind of does when you get the wings on the other surprising thing about this kit is all these parts like the wings tail and what have you they do fit quite well dry what's that one because i'm trying to do it live uh -huh. nope they're the wrong way around especially the uh the undercage legs they just pop right in But 
Probably should have done this before I switched the camera on. There it goes, there it goes. That popped right in there. Doesn't want to fall off, there's the nose wheel. Same with the nose wheel. There you go, it stands on its own uh, own legs. So there is <coughs> a MiG-25 shaped lump of plastic under all this. And I fully intend to bring it out of its shell. So on that note, I'm going to um, leave this video here. The next time you see this, as I say, touch wood, this should be primed, scribed, ready for its final paint, decals, and finish. So, wish me luck.